Hey. Hey. Yeah, what's hey. up? Uh, what's up, <laughs> TikTokers? Wild, bro. Yo, for the, rest, for the rest of the time, we're starting every podcast with a hey because it's Canadian. I mean, I feel I like don't think we've that's done that. Thinking we've of. done that every time. No, we have that a, the a we're that. doing the a we're doing is spelled a y. Yeah, yes. it's the Canadian a- a's LMA at the end. Yeah, a hundred percent. No, but yeah, the fucking I don't know, man. The A's are a thing, though. The A's are a thing. But we are here to talk about albums of the year for 2020. Let's be real, guys. Pretty bad year for music. Talking about our, our A-list records, am I right? <laughs> I like that Fitz isn't moving. It's a screen. It's just a skull shot. <laughs> Yo, Fitz, you may need to put the tinfoil on that shit, dude. <laughs> Yeah, go am set I up st- that tinfoil around the router. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get that better. <laughs> am, I, am I still frozen? Uh, you're uh, right. you're, you're a bit you're, you're on, like, dial-up now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got a new webcam, and it's been, like, a little <laughs> wacky. So, maybe... Uh, your whole shit's a little wet. You know you're having a rough time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it changed. Whoa, it changed. Oh, my God. Is that back. better? He's Is that better? Yeah. You know, yeah. you know okay. you're know, you having a rough time when Ryan Culligan Hawkley Internet is doing better than your internet. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah. How am I right now? Am I, am I clear? Yeah, yeah you're clear. <laughs> no, <laughs> not yeah, really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> oh, okay, boys. Man. Um, yeah, music of 2020. Okay, year. Couple records. Um, we got a lot of honorable mentions that uh, we need to go through because uh, yeah, we all picked our favorite, and then we'll announce them at the end. Hell we yeah. Into it? We jump yeah, into let's it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's jump let's around. Friggin', let's friggin steam. Let's steamroll these guys. Okay, first honorable mention record. Mm-hmm. Pretty damn good one, honestly. Brain pain, four years strong. Oh Pretty yeah, good record. Great. Oh, that record. Great. Fuck. I didn't actually realize that came out this year. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was we so went early. To LA, like, that's it was in, how I listened to. Yeah, it was in January. It came out, right? Yeah. It feels yeah, like any of my workout yeah. tracks. Like I think 2020, we just lump all of COVID, but there were three months that were COVID free, and records came out. Yeah, they they were, was, they, they were it wasn't COVID months. free. Yeah, we lockdown were. free. Yeah. It was lockdown, lockdown free. free. Yeah, they were pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it, it feels feels like the records that came out then like aren't even attached to 2020. I know, like that should have been like its two own separate time years. Period. Its own time period. <laughs> but uh, you know, the first time the first time we got to hear some of this record, Alan showed us while we were writing with him, right? And like, I remember sitting at his dinner table and being like, "These songs are really fucking good." Like it's a it's a dope record. I'm a big yeah, fan. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we were eating pizza. He, he came showed in. us brain paint. Or we paint were eating pizza. pizza. His Dewalt stereo, his yellow construction yeah. worker stereo. Yep. That shit rocks, yeah. man. It was a good. Yeah, day. it's it a dope good. record. Shout out, shout out <laughs> to the boys. Second record here, honorable mention. Another boys record, Seaway Big Vibe. Oh yeah, oh, good record. So good, so good. Let's go. Honestly. It's unreal. Like, I think to me, it's my favorite Seaway record so far. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Me yeah. too. Me too. It's probably in my top five of the year, I would, I would say. <laughs> it's like yeah. my top five Seaway records. <laughs> 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 top five Seaway records. Yeah, sure, it's dude. in there. Of the four they've got, it's in the top yeah. five. <laughs> yeah. But yo, but yo, the first when this came out, a few of us were together at Mike's, actually, and we listened to it right at midnight, right? Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Very, very. Did. We love it. Yeah, the boys rock. <laughs> what more to say? What more to say? We love it. We love it. <laughs> um, Anton did this record too. Our boy Anton. Anton, yeah. if you're watching, I know you watch every one of these. So shout out to you. <laughs> well, there's not much to say about it when we're all unanimously like, yeah, 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 pretty sick. yeah it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> you know what? I would say that record is a big vibe. Big vibe, boys. Damn. Yikes. Big, big vibrator. And also Canadian, so shout out, shout out to Canadian boys. <laughs> um, next one, there's a few here. I'm sorry, guys, but uh, Knuckle Pucks 2020. I thought that shit was pretty rad. Banger, 20 Banger. Cool song, Banger. great song, great, yeah, great fucking record. I uh, spent a lot of breakfasts listening to that record. So, yeah, I think my favorite track on it's the opening track because that one like blew me away right off the bat yeah and it has the cool like acoustic 
kind of intro thing. It's weird because like I wasn't expecting to put on an Apple Pop record, and it's kind of like <laughs> more acoustic driven. You know what I mean, like for the first track, so I was like, "Fuck yeah!" We're not laughing at that. Fitz is Fitz is trying to explain. <laughs> No, you're just freezing, you but uh, it's kind of funny. You're like a, you're like a robot. Funny. All right, whatever. Fuck you guys. <laughs> we understand, Fitz. We understand. But no, no, I thought it was a cool record for sure. Um, anything Knuckle Puck does is usually pretty damn sick, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, Let's keep it moving. We got lots of – we got Next lots one. Here. Next one, honestly, one of my favorites personally, but Mac Miller's Circles. I thought it was okay, super, yeah. super Dude, dope. was that this year too? That was I January, know, right? Bro, January. that does not feel – that feels like it like came out like two, three years ago. I know. It's Damn. this year. Oh, sorry. Like we're in That's 2021 crazy. now, but – Yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. it was yeah, – um, it came out, came out right when we were recording Hello, It's You. And then, like one of the memories I have from it is like I put on the first song, Circles, in the studio, and I was like, oh, my God. Like you hear that first word he says, and you know Max died at this point, and it's like – it's like emotional to listen to you know he's like singing it from the heavens you're like damn for real <laughs> dude for real did any like colin did you listen to that record at all or no yeah i did i, I like it i like it a lot okay. and the fact that the first and like what you just said the fact that the first line oh, is this shit. is what it looks like right before you fall it's like oh. yeah yeah it's heavy damn. dude it's, it's it's unreal i think it's some of his best songs too and then uh leading into another uh, this is a this is a crazy one guys controversial one Tickets to My Downfall, Machine Gun Kelly. Ooh, good songs. Let's go. Some good good songs. Songs. There's some good songs on maybe, that. Maybe maybe didn't the- grow the way I thought it would on me. No. I liked it for a week, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I liked. I liked. I think I liked three songs on it a lot, and I listened to those songs a lot. Like they're, I could still listen to them now, and I think they're good songs. So if there's something, but, I can uh, say. oh, sorry, go you ahead. know, but you know, it's it's one of those things where it's like. Uh, I don't know. It feels very much hype, dude. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, MGK Mm -hmm. released this pop punk album with with a few good songs," and uh, and it it was cool. I mean, we'll see. It's it's cool. I I I personally love it because I own Doc Martens. So, (laughs) oh my god, exactly. Exactly. It's Colin's political views line up with MGK's. Yes, yes. About boots. I actually uh, yeah the record the record's fine views. it's 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 good. I th- I threw out all my Nike stuff all my New Balance stuff everything just straight <laughs> anything to the with uh anything with an insole you're like fuck it oh I just saw my yeah, snowboard dude. boots yeah my skates uh, Ryan took it one step further he just goes barefoot uncomfortable <laughs> barefoot. as possible he's got yeah, like exactly. stones in his feet <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> brands no brands at all nothing <laughs> you walk Man. around naked barefoot. <laughs> Every day, I wake up, every day I wake up with a ton of back pain now, but it's all fucking worth it, guys. <laughs> Yo, but seriously, pretty catchy record, I'll be honest. But yeah, yeah like it's Fitz said, Fitz said, I don't think it really grew. Like, I didn't listen to it after like a week, but it's cool. It's cool. It's and cool. Travis Barker. Travis Barker, let's go. Travis yeah. Barker Banks. That guy, yeah. he's, he's a drummer. <laughs> okay. <guys. laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you guys see Avril Lavigne is making a song with? MGK, come on, <laughs> he is. I'm serious, bro. Let's, let's I'm serious. Stop. It's a let's it's a Chad right Kroger there. diss track. Oh, oh here we my go. God. Oh, let's go. Fuck that comfy guy. <laughs> fuck that comfy guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is comfy, man. Um, next one though. <laughs> uh, pretty pretty damn cool EP. We're gonna throw some EPs in, but that No Pressure EP, so damn. Oh good. yeah, really Very good. Cool. Yeah, I th- I throw it on like all the time just for like a quick listen. It's like good for working out, running and shit. Yeah, great for working out. Good Making record. pasta, good whatever good you want to do to it. I I started it's finger good. pointing in my car for the first time in years when I first heard it. So you know, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that man. Finger pointing is okay. rad. <laughs> what, I dude? lost it there. Why? Oh, I just didn't know where you were going with it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, that EP is cool, dude. That EP is cool. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> um, okay, one another EP that's really cool from another Canadian band, Valley. That Valley EP is dope. Oh, that's like 
mm-hmm. one of my most listened to releases of the year. It's so good. Every it's good. Show. It's yes. not what I was expecting them to put out, but I like it. I think yeah. it's fantastic. It's very like bare bones production. It's like still dying, dude. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. I don't know what happened. Man. I just got. I it. get it. I get it. I. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm back. I'm good. He's I'm back. Good. He's back. Yeah. No. The Valley piece sick though. Like I don't know if it topped their album the year before for me because like. Yeah, the album before was definitely yeah more my style. It was it was more like bulky like production wise yeah. and stuff there was so much you'd hear something different on every listen and yeah uh, the would you say cool, but it's, would uh, you say that valley peaked oh on my god wow on what peaks and valleys that's everyone's <laughs> uh, career i see what you're saying um yes yes they peaked <laughs> <laughs> Um, yo, the next Case one, one of, one of our favorite bands, um, 1975. What's the album called? Notes on a Conditional Form. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, yeah. dude, I kind I of forgot. Vinyl. I forgot that it came out. Like, I was like, oh, shit, yeah. Because um, I love it of fil- it Yeah, it's yeah, a lot of filler on there, but there's, talk, the singles are fire. Let's there's talk about that. Songs. When do you guys listen to that record as an album though? Like, are no. do you have the time See, to listen I, to all the filler tracks? I no. have, I have, and when I did, I enjoyed it. I was like, okay, I see what, like, I kind of get what they did here. They wanted to do like this, you know, I don't, you know, you have all these interludes and different things happening. You have a lot of slower songs and stuff that's not necessarily meant to be a song that's necessarily listened to completely on its own. And I enjoyed mm-hmm. it, but you're kind of kind of right. Like, when do you really have the time to sit there? And, when I'm and cleaning my basement, I put the vinyl on, and that's fine. I like it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good experience yeah. for vinyl, for sure. Yeah. Dude, like, if, if, you're you're like, putting a, yeah. if you're putting a record on in the first place, you probably have the time for the interlude. The way, I, yeah. the way yeah. I look at it is, like, the first album that they ever put out, like, you can literally listen to any of those songs and put them in a playlist, and it's a banger. Whereas that one, it's like you're not putting shiny collarbone in a playlist and vibing to that song later, you know? Like some of those, <laughs> some of those, but like, but the songs that are singles are like some of the best they've ever put out. Yeah, that being yeah. said, I, re- I really think that like Guys to Me is one of my favorite songs they've ever done. The Birthday Party is one of my favorite songs they've ever done. And then like Me and if You you're Together too shy. song, Me and You Together song, and If You're Too Shy, just classics. So yeah. I think that like, oh yeah. There's so much good the, stuff there. There's also like we like low key good ones though, like Jesus Christ 2005, God oh, Bless America. Oh, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable yeah. Yo, song. And frail I'm state saying, of mind saying. is really cool too. Yeah. 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 Like there's definitely some unreal tracks in there that aren't singles, but all in all, there's just a lot I think Jesus, going on. Jesus well, there was like Christ nine was singles. Single. There was like nine singles oh, was it? before the record. Oh, okay. So. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. the record does have 382 songs. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it goes for four days. That's how long it is. <laughs> but yeah, shout out 1975. Dope record. Um, yeah, this one's not an EP or an album, but like we got to give a shout out to Dad Sports for all the songs they put out. Cause oh, yeah. They, oh, yeah. Uh, they, dropped some, they dropped some heaters this year. They're an up and coming band from Ottawa. Ottawa Boys. Let's go. Yep. 613. We're the Dad GF Sports. Haircut. Yeah, funny quick story about them. Fitz introduced them to our manager, and what happened, Fitz? They got signed, and Woo! now they're millionaires. They make more money than us. So yeah, Dude. I saw them drive by in Teslas the other day. Oh, the damn Teslas the Tesla. again! <laughs> it looked a lot. It looked a lot. It looked a lot like Anton's, but I can't be sure. <laughs> I think well, they that, might have stole it from Anton. <laughs> well, that guy stole Anton's. Remember, Anton's is gone, dude. <laughs> And yeah, gave it, was, it to it Dad was, Sports. It was Miguel yeah. from Dad Sports. <laughs> it was Miguel that stole it, yeah. <laughs> Elon's um, actually a massive investor in Ontario pop punk music. Yeah. Oh, no. He Elon be. loves it. He should be. This is where the money is. He buys stocks in pop punk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, um, next one. I personally don't know this one too well, but uh, Down Through by Gleamer. I've heard a few songs, and I think it's cool. Fitz, yeah, this that's is more, a, this is more you, eh? Yeah, that was my honorable mention. Great record. Um, kind of gave me the same vibes as when I listened to like Peripheral Vision for the first time. 
it's yeah. pretty samey the whole way through but it's chill yeah i don't know i listen like, I, I listened to that record and it was really good but yeah it is samey and that's why samey. i don't think i but kept it, listening to it but it's like calming i don't know it's like be, yeah. yeah it's good it's yeah. really good gotta be fully honest i've only heard one song i think i thought it was cool but it was just a single when it came out i listened to it but i haven't listened to the record but i should yeah for real. record yo one that like kind of flew under the radar for me the front bottoms new record amazing mm-hmm. i i it's thought incredible that might be my album of the year but um <laughs> yeah insanely good record it's incredible um front bottoms can do no wrong they well, really they, can't they're just they, so good yeah it doesn't even make sense man there's just they're good at like doing what they do best a little different each time so it's always familiar but it's always different enough that you're interested yeah and this record i felt like they they like went back to their roots more than they ever really have like yeah talent of the hawk i think will still always be my favorite from this record um and then there the two goes. records <laughs> after that i was like uh, fucking freezing uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay whatever whatever no we're hey, listening from bottoms rock, from from bottoms from bottoms rock. rock. <laughs> they, they yeah. went back to the roots on this one i've been waiting for them to put out a record that sounds like this for the past two records so i was very yeah. happy with it um yeah. please bring us on tour and then yeah just shout out to brian Sell. they rock they rock dude um one that me and fitz were really into i don't know if you guys were you might have been i don't know but riley put out a record called los angeles and it was sick like summertime i still listen to every single day yeah just you a know? great great pop record um yeah flew really under the radar because there's like features from like black bear on it and like mm-hmm. uh little aaron and stuff like yeah that's some good it, shit it wasn't like talked about at all but uh, yeah honestly i didn't even know it came out until you sent it to me so did any of you get there guys um listen to it no uh, i have not oh no it's pretty cool if you, if you uh need some new Yo. jams one record we don't have on that list, by the way, is actually one that the, the Black Bear record. I actually really liked a lot of the Black Bear record. Mm. And it came I, only, out know, I only know the singles myself. Yeah. Well, some of it's pretty cool. Heather's really into it, my girlfriend, so she's kind of gotten me into it. Yeah. yeah. I actually like Wait. It. This has been a girlfriend? <laughs> when did you get it? When did you get a Damn. girlfriend? Oh, what man. the hell? Crazy. Dude, that's yeah. not cool. Yeah. That's not part of band code. <laughs> <laughs> it's not allowed we'll talk after the Um, podcast buddy band code (laughs) if you play bass send us that sounds terrible band code sounds terrible um okay last little one on the honorable mention list dear god his ep yeah really fucking good so sick yeah brampton represent yeah brampton lad but he i think uh one of the cool things about that ep is that the production at points feels like sloppy, but it makes it work so yeah. well. It's like a punk well, record. Yeah, cool it's like a punk record, but it's like hook after hook after hook. Yeah, and the coolest thing about that EP is like the bass is like the main instrument. Like yeah, the bass yeah. Is like driving. That shit's going hard. All, all and it's the, the most like, <laughs> and it's the most like punchy tone. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, just, yeah. I'll be real with you guys. When you first showed yeah. me it, wait, Colin, no, Colin, you're back. Um, when you guys, we knew about them for a while now, but when I first listened to it, I was like, this is, it's very weird. Right. And then after a couple of listens, I was like, no, nah, this is, this is really badass. It's so interesting to listen to. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's, especially that first song. Cause it's like, <laughs> it oh, repeats the same oh, word oh, so yeah. many times. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, bro, like what? Dude, yeah, every every chorus is that though. Every chorus is like one word, just like over and over and over and over again. And the first time I was like, "Ah, uh, what?" I, I had to like my brain had to adjust to it. Like, like the third thing, yeah. Like the third song's chorus is literally, "I'm going buck, 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 yeah. buck, 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 buck," just a million times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But once I like yeah, listened yeah. to it again, I was like, "Ah, oh, I fucking get it." Like the it's first sick. time, it like caught me by surprise with those like c- kind of crazy hooks that 
are just a little weird but the second time it was it you kind of get it it's definitely something that like yeah it doesn't really sound like a lot of other music and you'll be like interested right off the bat for sure oh yeah it like scratches Um, an itch in in your brain this weird like creative side of music that you don't yeah hear. that like you don't get from other shit yeah all right boys it's time everybody's got one kind of you know it was nope. a tough year it was <laughs> it was a tough year to pick a favorite you know but i mean like we tried our best um yeah here's our favorite records of the year who wants to start it off you can start <laughs> Yeah, Ryan. No, we all know started. Ryan wants we to say it know so yours. bad. Dude. Yeah. Just, <laughs> to it out, dude. just scream it from the mountains, right? Here, I'll change my background. I'll change my background to it one second. Okay, this album blew me away. Mostly, I'll be real with you guys. There it is. Pixel Bath by Gene Dawson. This album, like, I'll be 100% honest, front to back isn't like... I'm not saying the entire time like, this is insanely amazing, but like certain songs on it, like Bruise Boy, Clear Bones, Devilish, and um, Triple Starface, Double. Triple yeah. Double Sick, um, Power Freaks, all of those songs, like, especially bones, Bruise, Bruise Boy and Clear Bones, like just blew me away. Like, I don't know. I listened to those songs more than I, more times than I can even count this year. So, and I just think that Gene Dawson's like such a cool up and coming artist. So, and he's independent. He's independent and got the ASAP rap Rocky feature. So that's pretty yeah. sick. Mad respect yeah. to Mr. Gene Dawson. He followed me on Instagram for a couple months and recently unfollowed. No oh, beef. <laughs> no beef. Okay. Oh, it's okay, cool. Gene. But we, we will we will still bring you on tour. It's fine. Dude, I will say. I we'll will bring say. you on tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, Clear Clear Bones is probably my favorite song of the year. Maybe Dude, that I'll agree whole album wasn't, but Clear Bones is my favorite, yeah. I agree with you, man. Sucks. That's a good good take. Um, That's why boys, I... you what? see that oh, time? Go ahead. Yeah, the time limit. So we got 10 minutes. So uh, okay. what were you saying, were you saying we'll Mike? Saying, though? Yeah. 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 I was going to say, like, Pixel Bath is, like, literally it's such a close second for me. Or, like, I do. Yeah. The, the guys know this. I don't really have a first, but I have, like, a top three, and I'll just say which one I like like yeah. the most songs from, I guess. Yeah, Pixel Bath's it. really close, dude. There's, like, four really good ones. Um, dude, that n- new Dirty Nil album is fucking sick, well, that, bro. But that that's a out. January album. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, but also, well, yeah, technically, if we're talking about the year, I know we're talking about 2020. Anyways, uh, yeah. an honorable mention I wanted to say, which none of you listen to and I know none of you care about, the Bring Me the Horizon EP is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. No, it's That's cool. I've listened to it. Cool. Okay. Dude, it put it like totally pushes the genre that they're in. And that like I've liked Bring Me the Horizon like my whole life. I don't even know Anyways. what genre they're in anymore. That's Dude, the yeah, thing. It's, it's wild. <laughs> um, and, whatever also, they want. and also I'm surprised no one mentioned it, but the Juice World album, that's probably my top one. But that probably takes it. It it's a- ties in with that Mac Miller thing you said about how like Dude, it's like Juice World like knew everything was gonna happen and then just like told a story about it and the whole album's like that. So yeah, true. it's really it's really emotional to listen to. And also some of the songs are bangers. So Oh yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's yeah, both of them had like subtle lines about their death coming soon and shit, and it's like oh yeah. not even yeah, subtle, like crazy. Juice World just straight up made like five songs about it. Like it's yeah. wild. It's insane. Man. That's insane. That's crazy. Show Honestly, Juice no, World. that's a good pick though. But um Fitz, what's yours? Uh, okay, mine is. Where is it? I thought I had the picture. Here we go. Oh shit! Uh, Phoebe Bridgers, Punisher, incredible record. It's about being a Punisher. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it literally <laughs> is. Um, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's funny. Yeah, it's about. Well, some of the songs are about her being obsessed with Elliot Smith. Okay. And, like well, she's being a Punisher, but there's also stuff about people punishing her um great record very calming incredible in, in instrumentation incredible production and she's a great songwriter that's it check it I, out um i haven't given it enough lessons yet but like from what i've heard i think it's really cool and uh it's just such a good record to put on with a pot of coffee and just like relax you know yeah it's like a morning mood record i feel like right you're on. the only one other one here who's actually i've 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 listened to the whole thing um i just haven't like 
it still hasn't connected with me yet. i like a few songs kyoto is amazing i love yeah. that song Kyoto's yeah and, that uh, sounds great. And, I, and i think i will get into it more over time i just like i'm still i'm still like yeah. learning phoebe bridgers almost you know what i mean yeah i don't know omi showed yeah. me a couple songs and i thought he was trying to put me to sleep i was like bro what are we doing over here <laughs> that's that's what i like about it it's like the same reason i like that gleamer record is it's like kind of calming in a way but yeah, yeah it's, it's, sick. it's i've always it's, it's own mood bridges. it's its own mood for sure it is all right two bear ringers cool. left go for it guys jump in the water dougie you want to go or do you want me to go uh it's all you man go for all it. right all right so my favorite record of the year isn't even a full record it's an ep um, and my favorite record is the Remote EP by Wallows. I have listened you guys to all it. have the album covers down here. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I, I have listened to this EP like so many times this year. It, like three of the songs were my most played songs of the year. Um, the production on it like is so like weird and out there and wild, but the songs are still uh, managed to be so catchy in amongst all that. Um, I just I think it's fantastic. It's like definitely my most listened to thing. Of it's the awesome. Entire year. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wallace, Wallace rocks, dude. Yeah, it is. It is really good, and they're one of the coolest bands in the past few years for sure. Like their album before that one, like the full record. I listen to it so much; it's ridiculous. It's weird how like modern it sounds and how weird it can be, but it also like has so much influence from like old music, like the Beatles and stuff. It's it's just so they, all over the map. Dude, they love the Beatles. It's such a big influence, which is so cool. And what's that that live performance they did? That was one of the coolest things. Oh, ever. dude, the live performance on Jimmy Kimmel of them doing virtual aerobics is yeah. so sick. It's just like a like a live one take, and it's so well done. It's it's creative. It's sick. Yeah, if any of you guys haven't seen it, go check it out for sure. Cool. Yeah, very creative band. That They're awesome. The whole EP sounds like it was done to tape. Like it's very warm sounding. Mm, yeah, for nice. real. All right, Doug, you're the last one. Spill it. Well, this year was a tough year. It was a tough year. I feel like I didn't tough listen year. to a lot of records because most of the time I'm, I listen to records when we're driving. So yeah, with no, there being true. no touring, I kind of haven't really listened to music the same way I usually would. I'm definitely listen to a lot more singles and playlists. Um, but I thought Oliver Francis, uh, his like block by block West thing was really cool. The front bottoms were, you know, their record was incredible. Um, but for my record of the year, I have to go with the only record I consistently listen to front to back, and it's Hello, It's You. This one, hey! this one right here. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you know. honestly, I think we can all agree with that, though. I listen to it more than anything. Like, I don't know. Yeah. And maybe it's because yeah. I have to learn it for when, you know, if we ever play shows again. Maybe I'm just like, like yeah. I listen to it so much because I'm like, I need to fucking remember how this goes. Yeah. But I feel like I listen to it more. Uh, I listen to a lot of that. And then, you know, the news, the new stuff that is being worked on and stuff jamming that out every once in a while spilling but But uh, dude like let's be real like we worked on that record obviously in january recorded it listened to it so much before it came out and then like when it came out it had such an impact on all of us obviously so like it was super important this year right and if you know nice pajamas (laughs) yeah those are nice and it also feels like (laughs) Usually a record is like you, you do a record and you're super proud of it. And then you go out and play it a thousand times. And then by the, you know, at a certain point you're like, all right, I'm, I can't listen to this, but we haven't had that. We haven't had to, we haven't as a band gotten to play it actually at all. Yeah. Well, yeah. as a, a little full bit. group, I, not as but a full group. That was a full like, group. Yeah, that's true. Like, and especially not to people at a show. And so it's kind of, there's still that, like, you can still listen to it and think about, like, how crazy something will be or, you know, wonder how this song's going to go off. And it's yeah. kind of interesting to be in the position where, like, we, we're still listening to it and those, you know, we're not tired of it. We haven't had to play it a bunch of times. That yeah, dude. Sick. Like, uh, yeah, I imagine us yeah. playing it all the time at shows and shit. I can't wait for it, but... Yeah, like that record obviously impacted us all this year and it hopefully impacted a lot of you if you checked it out. But um, yeah, that was, those were all the records that impacted us this year. Comment below what records impacted you. Um, which one? <laughs> no, I just said, oh my God, that's funny. 
comment below <laughs> subscribe to the youtube channel leave a like dude i'm not kidding we need more subscribers more views more anything because we are poor <laughs> <laughs> our teslas don't charge themselves guys Speak we need that, yourself, that electricity Ryan. bill oh i don't have a tesla Speak what do you mean yourself. Fitz? i don't have a tesla about being poor i'm rich as fuck <laughs> yeah, that's true <laughs> oh my god you are buying that mansion aren't you Where, what lot is it on again yeah He's rich as fuck, but that internet, I don't know, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit's wild, man. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to upgrade it with the mansion. So all right, boys, we are gonna wrap it up. Zoom Stay true. Kick, Zoom's kicking us off again, but uh yeah. All right. Stop, Peace stop. out. All right, take it easy, guys. Peace. Skaters, Bye -bye. skaters. One love. Yeet. Nice.